Hello friends, in my previous video, I have already discussed about the IT versus VGS graph for NMOS in case of saturation region. That is, in saturation region, you know that VDS should be greater than or equal to VGS minus VT and if this condition is satisfied, then the drain current for NMOS is given by this expression that is ID equal to half into mu n into COX into W by L into VGS minus VT whole square. I already derived this expression. You can check from my previous video. I shall post the link in the description. Okay. So, now the ID that is drain current versus gate to source potential graph in saturation region looks like this. Okay. I already explained in detail in my previous video. Okay. So basically this is ID versus VGS characteristics for NMOS transistor in saturation region when that means when VDS is greater than equal to VGS minus VT. So when VGS is less than VT, no current flows because for NMOS or if you consider PMOS, same thing, same concepts are applicable. So if VGS is less than VT for NMOS, obviously channel is not formed. Uh, so obviously no current will flow from source to drain or drain to source like that. So if VGS is greater than VT, then only conduction will start because then only channel will form. And if in that case, if after formation of channel, if the saturation region condition is satisfied, that if this condition is satisfied, then current will follow square relationship with respect to gate to source potential and it will look like y equal to x square graph. L right. You can see from here also the expression id equal to some constant into vgs minus vt whole square. That is y equal to x square type. Okay. So basically the graph is coming like this. Okay. Now, can you tell me uh, this current versus voltage graph almost similar to another uh, current versus voltage graph for a particular device which you already studied in your semiconductor device and circuit course? Can you tell me what is that device? Yes, correct. That is nothing but the diode characteristics in case of forward bias, right? If you recall your concepts, then you can clearly understand that this is basically current versus voltage graph uh, for a semiconductor diode in case of forward bias. And see, consider this graph for the diode uh, in the forward bias and this graph for the NMOS in the saturation region. These two graphs almost looking like same only, right? So basically, we can say that in saturation region, the behavior of MOSFET is almost similar to the diode. Okay. Obviously, some difference will be there. Here, in case of diode, you know, the, in the forward bias, the current and voltage follows exponential relationship uh, after uh, the uh, barrier potential. But in case of NMOS, it is following square relationship. That is fine. But if you consider uh, roughly, then obviously we can say that the NMOS in saturation region almost behaves like the diode because we are getting current versus voltage graph for the diode in the forward bias and the drain current versus gate to source potential uh, in case of NMOS in saturation region almost same, right? So basically we can say like this that in saturation region it almost acting like a diode, okay? So what is the condition for saturation? Again, recall, so VDS should be greater than or equal to VGS minus VT. Now, you do, you should not see this line. I will explain uh, this line in detail later. Just consider this uh, condition. That is, if a MOSFET in saturation region, VDS must be greater than or equal to VGS minus VT. Right? So how we configure a MOSFET that the MOSFET always remains in saturation region so that we can act, we can use like, uh, you can, we can use that MOSFET like on diode. Okay, our intention is to make a MOSFET always in saturation region. So for that, we can make this type of configuration. That is, see, this is basic NMOS gate, source, drain. If we short circuit the gate and drain, we can get this type of configuration. Now, for this configuration, let us observe what is happening. See, for this configuration, as gate is short-circuited with the drain, so obviously we can say Vg equal to Vd, that is gate potential equal to drain potential. So, subtract v, 
S that is subtract source potential in both sides. So we can get Vg minus Vs equal to Vd minus Vs. That is Vgs equal to Vds. Right. So basically for this MOSFET we can say that is Vds equal to Vgs. So obviously we can say as Vds equal to Vgs. So we can say Vds is greater than Vgs minus Vt where Vt is the threshold voltage for NMOS which is always a positive term. So as Vds equal to Vgs so if you subtract one positive term from Vgs so obviously v, Vds will be greater than that so we can say Vds is greater than Vgs minus Vt right. So basically for this configuration of NMOS that is when gate is short circuited with the drain the NMOS will follow the condition for the saturation region that is we can say for this configuration the NMOS will always remain in saturation region that's what I have written here the NMOS always will be in saturation region okay so basically see now you can understand this line that this a MOSFET will be in saturation region always if the drain is short circuited with the gate okay this is very important concept now see basically this configuration we are getting this configuration is also called the diode connected transistor or diode configuration of NMOS. Why? Because of two reasons this configuration is called diode connected transistor. Number one is the MOSFET is generally four terminal device we all know basically gate, source, drain and body. These are four terminals. Source is often short circuited with the body. Apart from the body effect case, we always short circuit the source and body. So, there are remaining three terminals in the MOSFET. One is gate, one is drain, one is source. Now, in the three terminal MOSFET, we are again short circuiting gate and drain. So, obviously, there are two terminals remaining in this case. One is drain, another one is source. So, now this fourth terminal MOSFET becomes two terminal MOSFET okay and diode is also a two terminal device right so for this reason this is called diode connected transistor another reason is there you just I have explained that this configuration will keep this NMOS always in saturation region and in saturation region just now I explained that in saturation region the current versus drain current versus get to source potential graph follows same uh, uh, almost same look uh, almost uh, look same like the uh, diode uh, current for forward bias right so basically for this two reason this configuration is also called diode connected tran transistor okay now see some mathematical understanding we can do here so basically for diode we have studied three models one is ideal diode case another one is constant voltage stop model another one is piecewise linear model best approximate model of diode is piecewise linear model where there is 0 0.7 volt voltage drop is there for silicon diode if you consider and obviously one small forward bias resistance rf is there from where this rf is generated just a quick recap that you know for the diode first diode current versus voltage graph in case of forward bias is looking like this so the slope that is del if by del vf if you calculate then if you if you take the inverse then we can get the forward bias resistance right because resistance equal to voltage by current v equal to ir from ohm's law so r is equal to v by i so, in the uh, calculus method, we can say R is equal to uh, uh, dV by dI. Okay. So, basically, we can say that the forward bias resistance RF equal to del VF by del IF. So, basically, we can rewrite this as 1 by del IF by del VF and del IF by del VF is nothing but the slope of the uh, current versus voltage graph for diode in the forward bias okay so slope of the one by slope of the forward characteristics and wh what is del if del if is nothing but change in forward current okay and what is del vf del vf is change in applied 
voltage. Obviously, you can clearly understand from this diagram, del VF is change in forward voltage and del IF is change in forward current due to change in the forward voltage, right? So, basically, RF, that is forward voltage, is nothing but 1 by slope of the forward characteristics graph for diode. This RF we use for piecewise linear model in the diode, okay? Now, similarly, for NMOS also, if you consider this graph for NMOS, I versus VGS characteristics for NMOS, here also one slope is there for this I versus VGS curve. If you take the inverse of that slope, you can get the resistance offered by the NMOS in case of saturation region, right? So, let us try to calculate that. So, see, basically, if you calculate, try to calculate that, so that's what I have written here. Similarly, for the diode connected MOSFET, this is ID versus VGS graph. So basically, one small change in VGS uh, corresponding to one uh, huge change in the drain current. We can clearly see from the uh, diagram itself. And this obviously we are considering saturation region. You know that this uh, particular drain current versus gate to source potential graph is applicable only for saturation region. So basically, we should apply the drain current equation for the saturation region that is ID equal to half into mu n into COX into W by L into VGS minus VT whole square, right? So basically, now our intention is to calculate the slope of this graph that is del I by del V. Obviously, we should take differentiation with respect to the gate to source potential because in the whole expression of the ID only gate to source potential that is VGS is variable right all other are constant only right so del I by del V that is del VGS you can also say that is equal to half into mu n into COX into W by L into 2 into VGS minus VT VGS minus VT whole square if you take differentiation with respect to uh, VGS we can get 2 into VGS minus VT. That's what I have written here, right? Now, 2, 2 will cancel and we can get del I by del V as mu n into COX into W by L into VGS minus VT. Now, what is resistance? Resistance is nothing but the inverse of the slope of the current versus voltage characteristics graph, right? So, basically, R equal to 1 by del I by del V and we got del I by del V as mu n into COX into W by L into VGS minus VT. Substitute that and we can get the resistance value or resistance formula as 1 by mu n into COX into W by L into VGS minus VT. So basically what we are getting that for NMOS in saturation region the resistance is 1 by mu n into COX into W by L into VGS minus VT. And also we just came to know that we can always keep one NMOS in saturation region if we short circuit the what? Gate and drain. That is for this configuration. So basically we can say that this configuration will act like a resistor because see this is nothing but diode connected transistor. That is fine. And just now I have shown you that this all this configuration will keep this NMOS always in saturation region and in saturation region there is one resistance R is equal to 1 by mu n into COX into W by L into VGS minus VT. That is this uh, configuration of MOSFET will behave like a resistance whose value is dependent on the gate to source potential that is VGS, right? So basically we can use this configuration of the diode connected uh, diode configuration of NMOS in case of resistor, in case of circuit design. This is one of the important aspect of our this discussion. Okay, see how we can uh, replace. So, see here, already in my previous video, I have shown you that this configuration of NMOS will act like an inverter. If the input, that is, if the VGS get to source potential is basically input here, if VGS is high, V output will be low and if VGS is low, V output will be high. So basically this configuration will act like one inverter. Now see here, we have to use one resistor for this inverter circuit. Now resistor is, uh, resistor takes huge place in this circuit design. Especially when you are uh, considering a circuit which takes very small 
uh, space, then you should not use resistor. Rather, we can use MOSFET in case of this resistor, right? Because MOSFET now we nowadays MOSFET we can able to make in the nano range also, right? So basically, instead of the resistor, we can use uh, replace the resistor by MOSFET so that the circuit becomes. Uh, uh, circuit uh, becomes uh, small, smaller in this size, right? And how we can replace the resistor by MOSFET? Just now I have shown you that the diode connected diode configuration of MOSFET always in saturation and it offers one resistance whose value is 1 by mu n into COX into W by L into VGS minus VT. That's what, nothing else. So basically, we can replace this resistor by the diode configuration of NMOS and we can. Uh, redraw our uh, the inverter uh, which is made of of NMOS like this. Okay, so in many books you can observe that they have drawn this circuit for NMOS inverter. So this is the explanation behind that. Okay, so this is all for my this video. One more very small concept I want to say you that you should understand this. This may help you in solving numericals. See here, if you consider this diode configuration of the NMOS. See, gate is short circuited with the drain, right? So basically, what we are getting for this diode configuration of the NMOS, VDS is equal to VDS, okay? This expression, this is very simple. This we can clearly understand from this NMOS circuit itself. This will help you in solving numericals sometime, okay? So you, you should keep this concept in your mind also. So this is all for my this video. Thank you for watching and for more videos related to electronics and communication engineering, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you.